All right, guys, back to work. Easter weekend is over. Hope you guys had a restful holiday weekend. It's back to work. Though. We've got a brand new week, brand new month, brand new second quarter of 2024. Uh, we have, boy, some messy charts right now. Big swings back and forth on the charts. You combine that with one really simple, I think pretty obvious clue on the tick charts tonight. And it smells like traps. It looks like traps are probably where the easy money is made for tomorrow. By the time we're done tonight, you'll have an easy roadmap to make some money on traps. Got some bull traps, got some bear traps. We're going to cover all the details. Then you guys have a roadmap to make some money on Tuesday. Before we jump in, though, and talk my favorite trades for tomorrow, make sure you subscribe to our channel. I don't want you to miss tomorrow night's videos. Hit that subscribe button. And if you guys like these lessons, if you enjoy these videos, do me a favor here tonight. Will you hit that like button for me? Give me a shout out give me a hell yeah give me a holler down in the comment section below all kidding aside though thank you so much for tuning in supporting the channel but where are the best trades setting up for tuesday new week new month and new quarter boy charts are all ready to go in front of me get the nasdaq triple q's are all ready oh the e-mini and the spy is all ready i have i have two Pretty, pretty important clues right now on the charts in front of me that are tipping me off toward the best entries, the best exits, the best winning trades are going to be for tomorrow. One of those important clues, got two important clues total. One of those is right in front of me here on the 60 minute. It's very easy to see here. We are bullish overall right now on the yes, on the E-mini S&P. We are bullish overall right now on the NASDAQ. I like to use this 60 minute time frame to give me my overall overall directional bias that tells me the best momentum direction best odds of success the best potential for the biggest winning trades this week but there are one this one more important clue though on the tick charts because the 60 minute time frame is great for giving me direction direction is kind of the easy part we'll drill down to some tick charts and talk about one more important clue and time the entries for tomorrow here in a moment before we dive into the tick charts though and get our hands dirty on these charts tonight let's make sure we our schedule for tomorrow this one important news event i'm tracking for tomorrow that's that jolt report we have at 10 o'clock eastern time now if you watch these videos you know that i always pay attention whenever we have big news coming out at 10 o'clock eastern time so it's definitely very important that we keep our eyes on that tomorrow we have more big news at 10 o'clock on wednesday and of course that big employment number coming out later on in the week so we got a bunch of big news we're tracking here for the week here first week of the month of April, but keep your eyes on that Jolt Report tomorrow morning, 10 a.m., that job openings, layoffs, and transfer survey. Always excited whenever we get 10 o'clock news every morning in our trade room. Let's get back to our charts, though, because it's good to know when the news is, but the money is made on the charts right now. Let's talk entries. We mentioned earlier that the 60-minute time frames right now are bullish overall, and that's giving us our best directional bias, but direction is kind of the, it's kind of the easy part. More difficult is timing the entries. Let's now drill down to our tick charts. Tick charts make everything easier. Entry timing is a hell of a lot easier. This, of course, is a 7,000 tick chart you'll see linked up there in the upper left-hand corner. And if you're watching for the first time right now, welcome to the channel. This is the 21 EMA, pretty much the only indicator you need to come out and trade along with us every morning in our morning trade room at 8 o'clock Eastern time. There is one very, very important clue. In fact, you could easily argue the most important clue right now on the tick charts. It is a strong rundown into a trading range. Now, of course, this is happening both on the S&P and the NASDAQ right now. If you're taking my free video classes, you know anytime we have a bear move, into a trading range, what do ranges do? Well, ranges act like magnets, but more importantly, ranges love to rotate down, up, down, up. So think about that. Think about that range itself as a magnet, but remember, ranges love to rotate back and forth, right? So if you think about this, we're overall bullish, right, on the 60 minute time frame. So I love the idea of some bear traps underneath that trading range. We also, of course, have this very strong run down, right? That was no joke for those bears. If we play our cards right, there may be some bull traps up around these highs. Now, I got to be a bit careful on the bull traps because, again, we're overall bullish on the 60-minute time frame. My favorite trades for tomorrow. 
tomorrow will be those bear traps underneath that range below. Now, when I say bull traps and bear traps, what do I what do I mean by that? Well, in our free video classes, we talk a lot about trap patterns. I'm sure most of you guys are learning that right now. But for example, if we understand if we understand that ranges love to rotate back and forth, and uh, later on in the video we'll talk about the bear traps underneath that range. That's my favorite trade here for tomorrow. But you know, for example, right, if we get above that trading range, I'll be looking for bull traps to get short. There's one right there, right in front of us right there as we go higher here this range below us is going to try to drag this market back down into that trading range we're overall bullish though so i have to give the buyers a little bit more of the benefit of the doubt let's not try to pick a top on this i'm not a big fan of picking the top or picking the bottoms you know my crystal ball stopped working a long time ago we may go all the way back up again but if i can get the buyers trying once and then trying twice. The key is, here's the trick to a good bull trap. You want to get that lower low in price and a little a move above that prior high right there, a nice strong candle closing below the 21 EMA. You guys have learned this, of course, in the free video course. That would be, right, that would be a, a bull trap. You can see over here, right, lower low in price, just a bit above, right, that high. Again, think about we go, we pull back, buyers once, buyers twice. That is that bull trap pattern I would love to get over here. Now, of course, it could be it could be up, right? And then once, twice, lower low in price, and that bull trap uh, right, right there. Oftentimes, oftentimes what happens is, is we'll get a pop-up, we'll get our bull trap entry going short. Usually the top of that trading range makes for a good profit target. We oftentimes will get our profit target top of that trading range and they'll try to do it again. Again, we're, we're bullish overall, so it wouldn't surprise me at all if buyers try to buy that breakout pullback. But again, bear move into that trading range. Very, very likely we find our way down to that low and then buy it back up again. So what I'm looking for again is, is as we try to go higher, think about a retest of that high and then same thing buyers once buyers twice look for that again they're called they're called bull trap pattern we, we teach all these inside of the free video course right it's a lower low in price lower low and a little trap right above that high little trap high um, as they call it now that would be kind of a double top example of a of a bull trap one other variation of these that we see quite a bit on these is like this sometimes it'll pop up it'll get whacked back down and again I'd like to trap these these buyers in right with a bull trap up here because again I, I, we're overall bullish right I can't blindly sell up here I, I wish I could but I can't blindly sell I can't pick the top on them. it's an easy way to lose money so I like the idea of that bull trap but you know what sometimes we don't get that sometimes it pops up and gets whacked back down again unfortunately I won't get the entry off the high like I want it and sometimes what happens is it starts grinding down like this and when it grinds down like that that grinder is an easy easy giveaway watch closely here we'll draw a trend line off the lows will bring us up around the high, right? So that creates a channel. Now here's the opportunity for your bull trap, right? Look left, find one of those prior swings. Like I teach in the video classes, we, looked, we looked, looked left, find that prior swing and try to combine it with the top of that channel. This could easily be the bull trap, like I'm showing you right here in the free video class. We talk about, we talk about failure patterns, right? So failure, if the buyers came in and sort of buy off that moving average, right? They bought off the moving average. That could be a failure pattern. You guys will learn more about this, of course, in the free video classes, the failure into the pullback. And, and remember, we know where the market wants to go, right? It wants to rotate back and forth. So the amount that we go above that range can now project below, and that will give us an easy target for short targets, but at the same time, too, to buy it, right, to to buy it right back up again, because again, we are overall bullish. So as we go higher here, and again, we'll talk about a bit later on in the video, we'll talk about if we end up rolling lower. I would love to go higher, though, get some bull traps, lower, low in price, trap high, back down again, 
don't be don't be a, a, a surprise if it runs up, tries again, one, two, try it again. That double top, as we talk about so much in these videos, or that V top, right? That pop back down and that grinding back down. Find that channel again, and again, simply look left and find that right and find that bull trap as we're making our run back higher. Now, how do we buy down here? How do we buy it going back up? Let's talk about that in a moment. But before we do that, before we talk about the bear traps, which is my favorite trade for tomorrow, let's slow down for a second because at this point, I, I know that most of you guys watching right now, you've taken my free video classes, you've learned traps and failures, pullback and strength trades, you know how ranges work, uh, but if you're here for the first time right now, I look at charts a bit differently than a lot of other YouTubers do, so this might be way over your head right now, this, this might be a brand new language for you if you're watching for the first time right now, not to worry, what I'll do is I'll put a link up top here for you, upper right hand corner, I teach all of these entry patterns in my free trading classes, hit that link that popped up right there and take that free trading course because the strategy I teach will show you a simple, simple trick we use in our members trade room to know exactly where the best trades are going to be each day. And then I want to help you start making money on, on your own. I'll teach you four of my favorite entry patterns. I have hundreds of examples of traps and failures, range rotations, all taught in a lot more detail in that free video class. Grab that link, give you an easy roadmap so you'll never have to wonder where the winning trades are going to be each day. And also, too, keep in mind, too, I'm going to put all the important links tonight, the description of the YouTube video, in case you can't grab that link that popped up there in the upper right-hand corner. I'll put my free course links down there. Great place to get started with the free classes. Um, we trade together every morning, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, in our members trade room. I'll put trade room information, the description of the YouTube video. And also, too, I'm on Twitter a lot. I post a lot of updates on Twitter throughout the day. If you're on Twitter, give me a follow. All the details, the description of the YouTube video. But most importantly, though, take that free video course course that way you know how to trade those bull traps going higher now let's talk about now if we do end up rolling lower first things first here the amount above the trading range right can be used now down below that trading range this is going to be if we end up rolling lower this will be quite a bit of bearish momentum but again on the 60 minute time frame it's pretty obvious we're an overall bull market I like the idea love the idea of of some bear traps down below that low. Let's grab the NASDAQ here real quickly. NASDAQ's getting a bit lonely over there. I see you, Nazi. I'm coming your way next, buddy. We're obviously bullish still on the NASDAQ. Well, maybe, maybe not that obvious, right? It's a bull market up into a trading range. I do realize that it has been difficult to get this in to keep going like it had been the first few months of the year, but this is definitely not a bear market right now. Overall, it is a bull market. It's basically a bull market into a trading range. We know the amount below, project the amount above. We know the buyers want to rotate off the low because that's what ranges do, right? They like to rotate back and forth. We're in a great spot right now on the NASDAQ to be looking for the buy side going Going higher but again like I mentioned earlier we don't trade off the 60 minute time frame in our trade room we trade off tick charts every morning eight o'clock eastern time with members in our trade room this of course is a 4,000 tick chart linked up there in the upper right hand corner and you can see right away here right we have big wild swings big move up big move down big move up big move down and pretty much the end of the morning here today right inside of that trading range bear move into a range Ranges act like magnets, and they love to rotate back and forth, right? Back and forth. We talked about bull traps, right, off the high. We know that's a pretty easy game plan. Well, relatively easy. We're a little bit complicated at first, but pretty easy. Once you go through the video classes, uh, the free video course will teach you all about traps, make it very easy for you there. Now, how do we buy off that low? We are an overall bull market, but here's the problem. If we end up rolling all the way down, we call this what's called rotation off the high, all right? Basically, what it means is we're rotating off uh, above the high of that trading range. So let's imagine now, imagine now we wind up all the way back down and take out that low. It's a great spot to be a buyer, but what is the challenge we have right now? Momentum, right? Momentum is very bearish if we rotate all the way back down again. So what I'd like to do here right now is, is knowing that the bears are going, well, 
bottom line, whenever we see a strong move down after all that bear momentum, we have to expect they'll try to pop it up and do it again, right? Anytime we see a strong move in one direction, we expect a pullback and another attempt to go lower, right? So if we do end up rotating all the way back down again, we better expect that sellers are going to try. They may not be successful. They're going to try to pull back and do it again, all right? So I love the idea of some bear traps down here. Love the idea of a double bottom reversal. And it will be very similar to we talked about on the NASDAQ, as we uh, sorry, on the S&P, excuse me, as we make our way going lower, I'm not going to pick the bottom, right? I'm not in the business of picking tops and picking bottoms, right? The minute I do that is the minute this thing keeps on going without me and I'll blow my account that way, right? What I do is I want to find an area of support I am interested in. I'm not going to pick the bottom. What I'll do is, is wait now for the bears to come in and try to short this thing. Can we all agree this is a horrible spot to be selling short, right? I would never want to sell short. I don't I don't care how bearish the market is overall, right? Which is not, by the way. It's still pretty bullish overall right now. I don't care how bearish the market is. You're selling relatively low. Now, think about this for a moment, right? Anybody who sold short on a bull trap above, right, they'll probably take their profit where? Around that pendulum swing below. Is it safe to say that anyone who sold short up top, they become buyers down bottom, right? Of course, right? The bears or the sellers become the buyers when they begin to take their profit. Now, if I can get some inexperienced traders who are not paying attention, right? They, they don't see where they are in the bigger picture right now. They think this is a breakout going lower. It's probably not a breakout. If I can get these bears coming in, now what I can do is, is I can rope in their stops, right? See, now I know where the stops are. If I can get these bears trying once, trying twice here, right? I, I like the idea of that bear trap right down below that low. It's a higher high in price now and a move right below that low. What this will do is this will get me in as low as I can, but at the same time, it will leverage the power of running stops, right? If you're, if you're stuck short and you get stopped out, what do you do? You buy your way out. So these are scenarios where everyone is a buyer, right? The sellers who sold short off the high, they're taking their profit. They're buying, right? The buyers are going to buy because that's what buyers do in an overall bull market. They're going to buy off support like a pendulum swing. The last step is we rope in some rookie traders, right? We know we know where the stops are and we squeeze those stops. The, the sellers in that case become buyers as well. So buyers are buying and sellers are buying down around that low. Now, where does the market want to go at that point. If we can get that nice bear trap entry and get long off that low, where do we want to go? We want to take out that high and you got it. Find that pendulum swing right in there and there's your pendulum. Now, a lot of times what happens on these is because we're an overall bull market overall, what happens a lot of times is, is we'll keep on going Right, I call these slingshot reversals. We talked about this a few a few days ago, uh, last week, I believe, on the video newsletter. Sometimes, though, when this thing rotates off that low, it goes right through that pendulum swing and keeps on going. That's when you know you have a breakout. And if we do get a breakout of that nature, what then happens is is all of these prior levels of resistance now become areas of support for a breakout pullback. Now that may not happen tomorrow. Tomorrow, right, but that's something you want to think about. Um, if we do end up again, if we do end up getting that run lower, trapping in these bears, right, getting their stops to get squeezed. Again, we know the market wants to go, wants to go out, take out these highs here. It wants to complete that pendulum swim because that's, of course, what ranges do. But again, if they keep on pushing, for example, a lot of times what happens is, is they'll pop out and begin to kind of grind and grind and grind higher like that. When it grinds up like that, remember, this is a trading range. Right, ranges love to break out and pull back. All right. So again, this may this may not be tomorrow, but think about you know later on in the week here of sorts against an overall bull market, right? Love the idea of the bear trap a little low. If it pops up and grinds, what do you do? You mark off that high, you bring it down to that low, think about looking left. Where where was prior resistance? 
Can I use that now as an area of support? This could be a bear trap pattern, a failure pattern, a pullback combination pattern off that low, which any, any of the entry patterns you guys are learning in the free video course. And, and again, if you've done so already yet, grab that link that popped up there, upper right-hand corner, grab it in the description, and they'll give you a good roadmap there to make money each day, whether or not you're with me in the trade room or you're trading um, on, on your own. Now, uh, I mentioned earlier on the S&P, if we go up and try again, I wouldn't be afraid of that short off that double top. I like the idea of that again on the double bottom. We may get a strong breakdown here. We may get that bear trap entry, one try, two try. We may get that bear trap entry run back higher. If we get a big breakout going lower, I almost always use the underbelly of the trading range as a target, just so you know. We'll talk more about that, of course, tomorrow morning in our trade room. We may get we may get a good chunk of profit off on that, move that stop up to point of entry, and it may wind up running back down, taking out that low again. Because again, it's in, in that situation, it'll be a lot of bare momentum. And anytime we see a strong move in one direction, we expect the pullback and the retest of that low. Again, we're not an overall bear market though, right? We're an overall bull market. So when they go back to retest that low, in this situation, I don't need a technical bear trap like like this pattern right back here with that higher high and that and, and that trap a little low. All I need right now is is to trap the rookies in. One and two in the in the free video class we call this a two try failure right it's basically a failure pattern we teach in the video course but because we're so bearish there in the short term it's one try two try the goal is always the same though right don't pick the bottom don't just guess and hope it works out wait for these bears to commit and then use their stops right to fuel that move going higher now these can oftentimes be really really lucrative right that failure pattern Failure patterns oftentimes, remember, ranges like to rotate, right, back and forth. So if we do get that, either one of these really, and we start rotating higher, it's always going to be that bear trap pattern on the way back, on the way during rotation, right? So oftentimes we'll see something like this. We'll get that bear trap below. We may not get that full rotation going higher overhead, which would be great, but we may not get that tomorrow. My job is to make sure we're prepared for no matter what the market throws at us, that we have a tool, no matter what we need to make money tomorrow. If we do run back to retest the low, think about, again, we call these double bottoms, right? Double bottom in a bull market, great spot to be a buyer, right? Again, double bottom bottom in a bull market overall. Love that. Again, call it a bear trap. Technically, though, this will be a two-try failure. This will make a lot of sense once you get through the free video classes. And then as we go higher, we look for those We look for those bear trap patterns, those higher high in price, that trap below that low. One technique I always like to use is to find a new channel, draw a trend line off the highs, bring it down off that low, right? Get, get, get me a bear trap pattern off the low of that new channel as it rotates off that low. Mwah. That is a almost a guaranteed winner as far as I'm concerned with this overall bull market. Profit targets, of course, come off right at the side of that range and always, always, always leave that pendulum swing, right, to be a runner. We may wind up going all the way up and then one, two, bull trap back down again. Remember, ranges, they they love, right, they love to rotate. Now, one final question. I'm sure someone's wondering right now, how could I short this thing on the way down, right? How do I short this? It's a bull trap, right? So if we do end up rolling lower here overnight, think about that bull trap pattern. We've talked about so much already. You guys are probably sick and tired of hearing the word trap at this point in this video, but that does look like where the easy money is probably made for tomorrow. Lower low in price, above that high, nice juicy red candle closing firmly below the 21 EMA. That's how you look for that short on the way down to right that area. The best one though would be, let's go up, trap the buyers in and squeeze those stops or run those stops right back down with some bull traps back down. Once we get down to those lows again, trap those bears in with a bear trap and right back up again, right? We can double dip this stuff if we, if we play our cards correctly. So bull traps above the highs, bear traps below that low. Remember, trade that rotation and be very, very, suspicious of breakouts until something changes we might be we may be range bound all week here
here until we hear from non-farm payrolls on Friday. But that is the game plan for tomorrow. Now, don't forget, tomorrow morning, the easiest way to come out and start making consistent money with us is do it with us every morning at 8 o'clock Eastern Time. We trade together every morning in our members' trade room. I'll put all the important links in the description of the YouTube video. Put the free class links down there. Our trade room membership information will be there. And, of course, you can follow me on Twitter. All the details, description of that YouTube video. Hope you learned a bunch tonight. Hope you use this knowledge to make a bunch tomorrow. And hopefully, I'll see you trading with us sometime soon, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, as a student, as a member in our morning trade. In the meantime, be well. Be nice to each other out there. Get some rest. I'm sure it was a busy, busy holiday week. So enjoy a good night's sleep. And we'll see you tomorrow morning, 8 o'clock Eastern Trade Room. If not, same time, same place tomorrow night. We'll do it all again. Get ready for Wacky Wednesday. My name is Joseph. Be well. Be nice to each other out there. And be here next time. Adios, amigos. Bye for now.